I still cannot believe that I can just sit here and say that Sora is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Just a month ago, it really did feel like just a fantasy, a dream. Something that I was still holding on hope for, but it was slowly slipping away. And then October 5th, it happened. It broke the internet. It was an amazing moment. We finally got the reveal that a lot of us had been waiting for for such a long time. And it's been close to a week now since the character has been out. And I still feel like this character is just so much fun. I'm still in the honeymoon phase with the character. This is definitely the most fun I've ever had with Smash. I've been looking forward to getting on the game just every day. And I feel like I'm always finding out something new with the character. Something more I can opt something better I can do and that's something that comes with just the fighting game territory in general one day we're just sitting here mashing the three hit combo the next day we're over here doing nair loops doing conversions off of Firaga. I can't wait to see where this character just goes we're still pretty early on right now a lot of people are saying the character feels pretty good a lot of people are saying that he feels like a high tier some are saying he could be top tier. I'm a little mixed right now. I still want to see exactly what the character's weaknesses are because their strengths are very, very good. Really good recovery, great combo game, pretty good damage, very good kill potential as well. Consistent confirms, but I'm trying to see uh, what some of the weaknesses are and how bad the weaknesses are. I feel like Sora kind of struggles against oppressive projectiles. Characters like Link, for example, who always have a boomerang out or can just hit you with whatever from full screen i'm a little iffy on fast characters as well i feel like he struggles a little bit with some of the more speedy archetypes but i don't think he does as bad as he does with some of the zoners so that's just something we're gonna have to give a little bit more time before we can confirm so that's just something we're gonna have to give a little more time before we can sit down like confirm like okay this character is like top 10, top 15, wherever you want to put them. But they're definitely really good. I knew Sora was going to have combos given the game Kingdom Hearts. That's kind of what it's about to a degree. Doing the combos, doing the strings to your enemies. But there's some stuff that I'm even just very surprised that Sora has. Like I said, I feel like I'm finding something new just every single day. Seeing some new tech, some new ways to optimize stuff. It's really cool. There's a lot of DLC characters that felt like they reached their ceiling pretty quickly. Or characters that felt like they didn't have that much more to explore but with Sora it just feels like he's one of the most versatile characters in the game and I definitely think that is reigning true the more and more I'm playing him which is something I like a lot it was one thing wanting Sora in Smash but to have a character that really feels like they fit me in Smash and having that be my favorite character that's just really awesome I do think Sora fits my play style quite a bit but again still gotta give it some time to see how he plays at a high level but man this character is so cool dude that's everything from the animations the hit sound effects the stage being able to hear Destati or Knight of Fate like in a fighting game and fighting to it is just insane it's absolutely crazy it's made some sets just super hype memorable and just this is a vibe man I really hope that Square and Disney can look at the hype that Sora just generated and the positive feedback he's generated as well from being put into a game like Smash and want to make their own fighting game using Kingdom Hearts characters because that's for me is the only thing that could really top this uh, Kingdom Hearts like 2D fighter or something that would be just the best thing ever I know a lot of people were very caught off guard by the character's floatiness even though we saw how floaty he would be in the Sakura Presents when you felt it yourself everyone was just like dang this character really is floaty like that confirmation and it turned some people off to the character some people early on were calling a mid-tier bad because they didn't like how he felt but honestly it works pretty well to his benefit in a lot of situations and i definitely don't play uh, super floaty characters myself the closest thing to a floaty character i play is peach i mean she has a float but her jumps definitely are not as floaty as sora's so sora definitely took some getting used to but that is not an issue i mean it's sora what am i gonna do not play him that's definitely not happening. But I want to know though, how do you guys feel about this character? It's been a little bit less than a week now. I've been having a lot of fun doing viewer battles and stuff with you guys. I'm going to continue to do that for quite a while actually. And I have some pretty cool announcements uh, that are going to be coming very soon related to Sora and Smash that some of you may be very interested in and may be able to take part in as well. But I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. But let me know down below how you guys have been feeling about this character, how your experience has been. And also, if you know 
know any cool sword attack that like I haven't seen yet let me know give me some of that send that my way but otherwise uh if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like share the video with a friend or a family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that real subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out to you guys bye now she's a daydreamer